everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. Happy freaking Friday. Someone's flushing the toilet. I gotta figure out how to stop that. <laughs> so funny. Anyway, I have been busy all week just doing some stuff, and um, if you noticed, yes, okay, yes, okay, yes, wait, yes. I'm gonna go through my list of injuries real quick, okay? I cut myself on a potato peeler, like one of those auto ones. I was doing this, and I was trying to pull the potato off. I went, ah, I was bleeding like crazy. It was last Saturday, so almost a week ago, and it still hasn't healed, okay? <laughs> I've been tearing apart my in-laws' bathrooms because we're renovating all three of their bathrooms. So this is from that. Um, and then this one, I've been living vicariously through Kira. <laughs> Just kidding. It's actually literally. I took a bite out of hot pizza and the sauce got on my lip and there was a bubble. And that was like four days ago. And it looks like, yeah, I know. I know what it looks like. I mean, I wish you could say it was other things, but that's just the pizza burn. Typical me. Anyway, today we're talking about Doc and He Dozen because that's what we do on Fridays generally. We have a little bit of fun, but we also spin the old wheel. And I spin it twice because it is the last Friday of the month. And here we go. If I have them in front of me, not only will you receive the regular prize pack, everybody, the regular prize pack, I'm also gonna hook you up with an extra wallet because I said I was gonna give them away. Don't forget, these things are sick. Go to extra.com, use the code DAD to get your deal today, 25% off. But I've got two, I got a nice leather one and I got this really dope metal one. They're both equally awesome, so it is what it is. The first wheel spin is gonna get the leather one, the second wheel spin is gonna get this purple sweet one right here. So, bring the kids on in, they love to dance to this one, they love to party with the dad. Let's go! Yeah, baby. <laughs> Yeah! Tara Max, you win a prize. Reach out to Josh at thedadchallengepodcast.com with your shirt size and address. And I'm gonna hook you up, but uh, let's go. Yeah, baby. Kimberly Taylor, that's kind of how Della treats her baby, actually. Kimberly Taylor, you also win. Reach out to Josh at the dadchallengepodcast.com. Shirt size and address, I'm hooking up. Let's go! <laughs> try not to stare at this the whole time, because I'm going to. And just try not to. Try... Not to. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and apparently my wife's pointing out I had a zit here too. She's like, and she kept coming by. She's like, they're still there. I'm like, it's a zit. And then it turned to a white head and then popped it. I think my wife secretly wants to pop my zits. Is that a thing that wives do? Like they're just hinting. Hey, there's a zit there. Cause she's in nursing and she's, she doesn't, she's not grossed out by all the things that normally gross people out, which should gross people out. Is she trying to tell me something? Weird. Anyway, let's get to the snark. They're going to NASCAR, so I want to see what happens here. Before I get this video, I am blind reacting, but I'm also on my Docker Who Doesn't Expose Reddit page a lot, and someone was pointing out that the kid in the back, just watch her behavior. That's what they're saying. Because, and I'm not, and I'm not even gonna, th I'm gonna throw shade, but not really, because everybody knows what it's like when you're getting ready to go somewhere, you got plans, and your kids acted a fool. So I, the one thing I like about the one, there's this one like viral TikTok everybody does. It's like getting ready to go on our trip. Like we just didn't get divorced on the way out of the house. I love that. I think it's hilarious because everybody goes through that. Hey, my dentist office gives out chapstick instead of pens. I think that's a good idea. Anyway, sorry. Let's get to this video. Hi everyone, it's Alicia. Oh! He doesn't. And today for Sunday Fun Day. What? <laughs> She's like, shut up. Shh. I've got them on blank just for this, but like, shut up, because you know that Josh just yelled at them and dropped a bunch of F-bombs so that she could record this. So it's not normal, like, you know, kids be quiet. They're out, you're out a day, let your kids have some fun. But no, mom has to do her intro to the vlog because we can't go anywhere as a family, nowhere, unless mom films it first. The, look at this, guys. This is pissing me off so much about Dr. D Dozen. It would surprise me if she didn't. We, we've done Dr. Dozen videos for over a year now, okay? 
And there's not been one, not one moment this family has ever had without a camera on them that's special. Not even not special, but any special moment, anything that happens, she's got a camera on. That's got to mean something, right? At some point, you got to be like, mom, we don't want to be on the camera. One time, can we go somewhere and not have the camera on? One time. Alicia cannot do it. She is addicted to it. That is crazy. They can't do anything. And then they're shushed and told to F off and everything else when, they're, when their mom needs to do an intro on the camera. Because you know she yelled at Josh, and then they got mad at Josh. Like, shut up, everybody! Shut up! And you know, the kids are back there looking like they just got yelled at. That's what just happened. We are taking our family of 14 to Watkins. But I got to give her credit. She's got uh, air tags on her kids. Always put air tags on your kids. Okay, or something. Better to put them probably somewhere a little bit less conspicuous because if someone wants to take your kid, they're just going to take that air tag, pull it off their wrist and throw it. <laughs> okay, there are secret, there are things you can do. Little pockets you can sew into your children's clothing with air tags in them, just so you're aware. International to see the NASCAR race, but first... Yay, NASCAR! Coffee! Here's my impression of NASCAR, ready? This, uh, who, goes to, who goes to NASCAR? I like apparently a lot. Okay, but this is like <laughs> Here's what she bought for her kids for NASCAR because they can't even go to NASCAR and dress the way they want Can you guess where our family of 14 is headed for Sunday fun day to play chess checkers? I don't know Like did you spend a grand on vans and shirts for one day at the point that they're never gonna wear any of those ever again the Alicia like again at this point we know that she's doing it for clicks and views right but she doesn't care about how much waste actually she brings from this this is bananas nobody on earth does this Ohio, why don't you get them NASCAR shirts then instead dumbass <laughs> I'll sunblock you guys. So where's my ring? No, she won't. She sang that, so she says that she sunblocked them, but she's not sunblocking. Most of these kids don't want to go to NASCAR at all either. This is so awkward. Why don't we follow the path? 15 passenger van on this wet grass. Oh, you'll be okay, Alasha. There's a tow truck at least there. You know that. You know, Josh got his NFL Buffalo Bills hat. Yo, what's up, Bills? Go! Bills suck. They're going to come in last place this season. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's get you all logged in here. <laughs> 12 kids. Don't forget 12 kids. We have 12 kids. We got it, Alicia. You got 12 kids. And from what I'm looking at, the patrons of NASCAR, they look like they all shop like you do. Hmm. <laughs> Just saying. Because it costs a thousand dollars to go watch a bunch of cars race around a circle. That sounds like real fun. Watch all the NASCAR people. It's fun. You just don't understand it. And you know what? You're right. If I under if, anytime I don't understand a sport and then I fart, I start I fart. I start getting involved in it. Like when I started watching Welcome to Wrexham, I I hated soccer. And now soccer is like my number three. Okay. I, you're right. If I got to know it, I'd probably love it. I love the. I love it all. I'm just saying, making fun of them. You know what I'm saying? But it's still cars around a circle. What is it? Like? She even put like checkers on her nails. You look stupid. She put it on your thumb. It's about the size of a flag. Go bowling. Okay, so they are all back there. We have pit passes that I got. I have. <laughs> How much are pit passes? How much are pit passes? If it takes me this long to find them, I don't want them. In garage passes, here we go. Well, the bad news is you can't buy pit passes. They are only given to sponsors complimentary on behalf of the team. Oh, they're sponsoring the Doherty Dozen, I see. The good news here at RDS, we have made sponsorship more affordable than ever with packages available for $350, all of which come in NASCAR pit pack. Well, becoming a sponsor. You are given a pit pass in World NASCAR for race week along with having a name logo traveling around the... Oh! What? Did they sponsor a car? Did the Doherty Dozen sponsor a car? To get pit passes? Can you imagine? It's like donuts all over the car. <laughs> the Doherty Donuts! 
registration. This place is. Need any map? The registration. <laughs> Shut up. Huge. So to eliminate all the kids walking for miles, I'm just gonna go. To eliminate all the kids, feed them junk. Oh. Walk and grab the pit passes. Pit pass doesn't start till 12. Why don't you get Josh to go grab the pit passes? Thirty. We got here early. Because Actually, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. We knew it was going to be insane. This is something. Why do you walk like this? I'm gonna walk down the path. I already get to the dirt, the dirt. I got. I feel like I'm on a cruise ship. I'm gonna get sick. Like completely new to us. We've never done anything like this. Josh just went to a NASCAR race, but um. Like yeah, we don't give a shit. So, yeah, this is this is wild, but amazing. Very credentials. So. <laughs> <laughs> Doherty doesn't checking in your for our pit bosses. Who? Um, Doherty doesn't. Yeah, we don't know who you are. Who? I feel like I'm in one of those things where I'm just going in circles, and like the first caller tells you to call the second caller, and the second caller tells you. To Stop with the one eye blink. Call the third caller, and the third caller tells you to call the first caller. And yeah, we got it. We know what it is. We will find it, and we will get our steps into it. Right, I think we will, and your steps are like this. <laughs> Do you have like a peg leg? What's going on? Is she a pirate? This trailer. Seven, eight, nine, Pre race. 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. We got them. Show us how to count it out. We got it. There's 14 of you. We all got it. Actually, it wasn't that far of a walk. Um, I ended up needing to get them at the will call booth. Who cares? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we don't know and don't care either. Creepy clown looking weirdo. Never done this before. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to get something to eat for lunch. It's uh, about 12 o'clock noon. Is it 12 o'clock noon? Thanks. We know when lunch is, dumbass. Noon. You could have just said 12 o'clock or just noon, one or the other. Yes, it is. All right, there's different. You should have brought a lunch. Okay, I'm sorry. Like, I get that. But just bring a cooler with sandwiches. At some point, you got to be like, we're normal. We're not going to spend $800 on hot dogs because that's what's going to cost them here to eat this shit. 800 bucks. I took my kids to the fair the other day for that uh, uh, smash up derby, whatever it's called, demolition derby. I spent, <laughs> I only brought two littles with me. Okay, and it cost me $220 for food and those stupid games that are such ripoffs. And it's not even like you got to win the game. You just go up to them and be like, how do I get that toy? They're like, well, here's how you do it. Give me 20 now. Bring it back. Give me 20. Give me 20. Give me 80 bucks for a big toy. I can order on Amazon for $7. F you. But we did it because the kids, right? Damn it. Anyway, the fairs are expensive and carnies are weird. And they're not getting better. I haven't been to a carnival in I don't know how long. Or whatever you call them. State fair. You call them state fairs. We call them carnivals. Or I guess we call them town. I don't know what we call them. But they're full of carnies. And some of those carnies are not having a good time. Some of them are like, you know, they're high. And they're like, hey, kids. And some of them are like, F kids. Just get the ones that are like, hey, kids. There's different food places, guys. So, like, this has... Cheeseburgers, chicken. Cheeseburger fries for $13. It's not terrible. Where I'm from, that's $19. That's not terrible. Tendies and fries? Not terrible. But a hot dog? Whoa, five bucks? That's not bad. Tenders, hot dogs, nachos. Nachos. Pizza down there. Hey, let me set my camera up first before you order, please, so you can be like surprised when you say, 14. Holy cow, did you have Netflix or anything when you grew up? Hi. We're so many kids. Could I please have a hot dog and french fries? What do you want to Here's what you do, Alicia. Bring a whole bunch of cash. Everybody's got 20 bucks. Enjoy! Go get what you want. Pay for it yourself. Get lost, punk asses. The little ones stay with me. I'm just gonna sit here order for 20 minutes. Come on! No way! So half the video is ordering shit for your kids. America. <laughs> Josh, buddy, chill on the cereal or whatever you're eating. And a Powerade, please. A blue Powerade, please. And that's it. That's it, eh? That's it. We clean the truck out. That's it. That's all we need. What? How much? How much? How much? Is blue right now? Yes, please. How much? How much? How much? How much? How much? 
I'm saying $400. Uh, yeah. You want napkins? She just denied napkins and said we'll use our shirts like normal people. The shirts that you're gonna throw in the garbage when you go home. The waste. The waste! She's doing the Murph face. We got pit passes. guys. So, so far they're like two grand into this trip right now. Does anybody have to use the bathroom? Wait, Dash, you don't have Dash. You have everybody? Yep. No, we're missing a kid. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why'd you ask that if you knew, dumbass? He's coming. Here he comes. <laughs> Josh is like on his last nerve and he rarely hangs out with his kids. Did your little dude just take off by him? This is again the most dangerous thing. If you're this famous people on the internet and you know you have millions of fans, don't let your small kids run off on their own. How about that? We just saw that they did. In an instant, your kid could be gone. In an instant. Don't let them do this. And they don't even they didn't even know he was gone. That's crazy, everybody. That's that be again. Yeah, cool. So I brought some noise canceling headphones. Um, some of my kids have sensory issues, and don't like loud noises. So. so you heard it. Some of my kids have sensory issues, and so we're going to NASCAR. <laughs> Just leave some of the kids at home. They don't all have to go. Why don't you do this, Alicia? Why don't you ask your kids if they want to go? I know sometimes it's it, there's no choice. Sometimes I go places and I ask the kids if they'd like to go. Some of them don't want to go, so you don't have to go. Depending on what I'm doing. Right. In this case, I understand. You know, some people are like, no, you take your kids. It's a family day outing. But some of them have issues. And so maybe just say, look, you can sit this one out because I understand that it gives you massive amounts of anxiety. So let's not put you into that situation. eh? OK, but no, she would never because she has to tell everybody she has 14 kids. How do they do that? All right. Head it over. One, two, three, four, five, six. You picked the wrong shorts, Alicia. Just saying. They're silly. They're silly. Where's our twelve? <laughs> he hates his life. He hates it. <laughs> he knows how embarrassing it is too. He's like, my wife made us wear these. Don't even look at me. My wife. Uh -oh. Twelve. James Adam. Oh yeah. So I got my nails done. NASCAR. Ooh, there it is. NASCAR nails. Is that NASCAR nails? Just checkers? Cool. Nice. Oh, I was looking for something, but this person's been on my uh, Reddit page making this alpha, Doctor Who Does an Alphabet, and it's awesome. You gotta read it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> and thank you to Cookie Lady 94 for this. It says, the DD alphabet. A is for alcoholics. B is for butt first. Coffee. C is for child exploitation. D is for dognut. E is for excessive, F is for floor fries, G is for grocery haul for my family of 14, H is for here's what my 12 kids ate today, I is for ice cream float challenge, J is for Josh, K is for Kona ice truck, L is for lush, M is for matching outfits, N is for Nana you son of a bitch, O is for Oreo triplets, P is for Pam's ovaries, Q is for quesadilla gate, ooh. R is for roll call, S is for snackety board, T is for thumbs, <laughs> U is for unwashed socks, V is for Velveeta, like there was no other one you could do for V, and W is for white claw from Wegmans, X is for Xanax, Y is for yapples, and Z is for zero care for child's privacy or the environment. Win. Let's get back to it. Very I am like, this is the most I have worked out in years. What, walking? Nice. Nice. That's good. You're getting fit. No, you're not. If this is the most you've worked out in years, you're not getting fit. What's going to happen is you're going to hurt yourself. Excited? Yeah. They don't give a shit, Alicia. They don't get excited for anything because they don't work for anything. They don't have anticipation for anything. There's nothing. They get everything they want. These kids don't get excited. I've never seen one kids be like, oh my God, never. You never see any gratification or excitement in these children's faces. And that is actually, I don't care what you say. That is so sad. Remember when you're kids and you wait and you like, you get excited for things. These kids don't get to experience that. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Hey, Alicia. Yeah. Yeah, all day. They're not going to want to be there. Holy, NASCAR's got some people that are eat the same thing as Alicia for sure. Four miles. Alicia's upper lip sweat is grossing me out. Around <laughs> no, here. I'm not going to lie. To try and find it. Do you 
find it? She's gonna wipe over the thumb, you know. Oh, neat. Oh my. Neat. But look at me instead. Neat. I want to see the neat race car. I don't want to look at you, Alicia, and your ugly sunglasses and face. Let me see the shit they're all talking. What are you doing? This is. I don't understand her. She's like, look where we're going, but look at me. Look at the things that they're looking at. What the hell? You suck, Alicia. It goes all the way over there. Where? Where? There, thank God. And then we get it for two seconds. This is, Alicia, do you know how stupid you are? You're going in this thing, but you want us to see, but yet you just film your face the entire time. How dumb are you? Ah. And yet she'll take you grocery shopping and show you every piece of shit she buys. This place is huge. Stroller would have been helpful. It's not miles. Helpful with a five and six. Well, maybe it is. Say we should have brought the stroller. Oh, I was saying it like. Oh. Why don't you spend the money and get like a couple golf carts or something? Whatever. That'd be baller. Driving around, all the other fat people watching go on golf carts, being all jealous of you. Yeah, I would assume. Doesn't that mean like? Oh my God! Just get to the pit. Okay. Alrighty, let's go. Oh, is that a house there? There's like literally a house. Or like a clubhouse, I guess. Thank you. Thank you. Gotta you check your bags for nails. Oh, that's cool. Bet you that's five grand worth of tires right there, and they probably like. I can't. I guess NASCAR obviously makes a lot of money. I don't know how, but it does, right? But the, just the the the. I think it's probably the most expensive sport to play. I don't know what you call it to operate in, because damn, just the tires alone at a NASCAR race, don't they replace them like four or five times or something like that? Insanity. I wonder if they can be recycled. Wow. Hey, this is cool. I don't want to see your mug. <laughs> Roll call that no one wants to be in. So this is where they come. Uh, thanks, Mom. This is where they come. Okay. <laughs> thanks, pro sport NASCAR person. Is that the technical term? <laughs> Look at me. Not the things you want to see. So dumb. So far, everybody loves our outfits. No, they don't. They're making fun of you. Nice outfits. It's the grandmother's like, I love the outfits. All the guys are like, oh my God, is that doctor doesn't. My husband thought we were going to get made fun of. You are being made fun of. They're just not doing it to your face. Okay? Well, you've gotten comfortable. And I'm making fun of you. It's left and right. Yeah, the comments are because they're like, oh, nice outfits. Dumbass. That's what they say after. <laughs> Those generators, what are they powering? What are they powering? They're so loud. They all have one, but what are they powering? They're they're into the cars. That's weird. Ask questions, Alicia. What's that powering? I want to know. Oh, that's actually cool, man. That's cool. This is so stupid that she does this. And like you can tell the people who do not want to be in this picture, and it's most of them. Yeah, I want to know what the generators are powering right now. Just keeping the batteries charged. I don't know what these things are. There's are big batteries in here. What are they keeping charged? I suppose I could just Google it. Why do NASCAR cars have a generator? Generator is a large box next to each car. The starting grid part of the race has a primary purpose to heat up the car's fluids before the race part of the car being started. The generator is a core that hooks up the car via cable runs directly to the oil tank. So there it is. I got the answer, everybody. Keeps the fluids hot. Because you want that to, you don't want it to be cold and run cold and stuff for viscosity stuff. Right? Viscosity? Three. Go bowling. Let's get all the tires. It's crazy. That's crazy. So, so three sets of tires there. So what are those trailers? What? That's where they live, I think. What are those trailers? Offices. Oh, 
That's where oh. people sleep and stuff, right? The accessories. Oh, okay. Oh, accessories. Sunoco. If you say if you if you call that Sunoco, we're not friends. What? What are you saying no about? Here is the map. So they're at the pit terrace, and they need to go where? Grandstands. Oh, these kids are so tired of walking. And so, and the day's just starting. Yeah, yeah, they love it. They love it, though. No, we're sitting here. Yeah. Yes, yeah, honey. Honey, the Legos are like an hour, a mile back where we just were. So the, the, the thing that kids actually want to see, they don't get to go see them, the Legos and stuff. But no, we're just... F y'all kids. We are gonna go find our seat. At this point, if I had the money that Alicia had, I'd be like, where can I rent a two eight passenger golf carts? Where can I get them? I'm gonna buy them straight out. Then sit down. Yes, S's. S, I don't know if I'm saying that right. E-S-S, E-S-S. We see it. Essex. Essex? Essex. Essex. Feces, I It's not feces, it's Essex. <clears throat> Thank God she didn't just film the entire walk like she always does. Like, look at this long, shitty thing you shouldn't be watching. I thought that's what they said. I don't know. We'll have to ask. Probably not even allowed in yet because they're so early. So this race doesn't even start for what looks like another two hours. These kids are going to have a blast. Yeah. I'd be like, where's the napping tent? Okay. More food. So they're at the so that the, okay she got them expensive tickets so these aren't the free tickets so they're at a, they're at a grandstand that has like all the stuff that you get with it too like food drinks and all that kind of stuff. White claw. Get some drinks. Okay. Just open ice. Okay. It's gonna freeze into one chunk. All right, so there's salad and then salad. Make, don't forget. Oh, make sandwiches. Don't leave open meat out without cooling it down. Ew, America standards are weird. Hot dogs. Hot dogs. You just ate. You literally just ate. Thank you. Thank you. Why don't you wait till you got here to eat? Because they need second lunch, second snack, third snack, third lunch, fourth breakfast. Thank you. Thank you. Ew, uh, that's... don't. Are you doing some good vlogging today? On your Build-A-Bear phone? See, she's like, this is called grooming, everybody. I'm sorry. I don't care what you... You go whatever you want. Okay? But she's like, are you are you pretend vlogging on your phone? This is what Alicia is teaching her daughter. It's the only thing she teaches her kids. That and eat garbage. Um, yeah, we're just gonna kind of chill out until the race starts. Fourth lunch time, everybody! Okay, we're getting ready to go to our seats. We're in. Section. We don't care where you are. Three. Who cares? Row eight and nine. Look, she was right. That is huge. There's a helicopter over there. They're by the flaggy thing. Where they win, I guess. Alright, we have some black with motion at home, but now I'm reapplying. Yeah, reapplying. I gotta pretend I'm a good man. Right. America! That's all, that's what I see NASCAR on these trips. America! Get your damn Twinkies. This is so boring! Cut to this racing. Okay, I have watched 8,099 steps to this. Whoa, 8,000 steps? Holy shit! That's not as far as I thought you were gonna go. Oh, cool fireworks during the day that you can't see. What the heck? Oh. Thought they're doing like a flyover, but it's just a normal plane. That's why you can't fly drones around there. Oh, These kids are already literally done with the day and it's just starting. Now they gotta watch cars drive around in circles. Oh, 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 oh. I 
I think when the races start, most people are already drunk, right? That's what makes it exciting. Have you ever had their 10 Miller lights? <laughs> no Bud Lights, though. Not allowed to have Bud Light anymore. You get made fun of. But that's what I'm saying. Like, most people are in the bag. Their neck is red. They're like half buzzed or full buzzed. And now it's fun, right? <laughs> Let's race, everybody! I love you, man. I love you. I don't, I don't ever told you this, man. I just totally love you, dude. You're just like, you know, I just I don't think I say it enough. Right? But she was like, you know, I love you, man. And they like look at a spot on your forehead and study your eyes. I just totally love you, man. <laughs> and it's like, you know, that one time, just, you know. <laughs> and they get the towel on. <laughs> I love America, man. I love it. Can you just film the race part? Nobody knows racers. I don't even know racers. Nobody knows the names. I like the brown car. I'm, wait, I'm, I'm rooting for that one. That's how this goes. I like the colors, and that's why I'm rooting for that one. There is a type. That's what I'm saying. There's a type. All right, they got, look at these. This one family here, they got the crosses on their shirts. They got the, like the, I don't even know what that says. Mama told, so, I don't know. This is so bad. You see that on cruise ships all the time in America, too. B roll on the bill, bear phone. Look, she's pretending she's filming because that's what she sees. That's all that kid knows of her mother. That is what she has taken away from her mother. And everybody's like, oh, so cute. No, that's actually really, really sad that that's all this kid knows. I'm gonna get attention from mom if I do this because that's what mom does. Guys, I don't, that is heartbreaking. That's all that is. Wow. That's crazy. And that's what Alicia wants. That's that she's so proud of that. Oh. Go faster than that, though. Go faster. Go faster than that. Oh. I guess it's just to set the pace or to warm up your tires or something. Okay, this better not just be her filming the whole thing, just like this now. How are you gonna win if you're so far behind? Okay, though, I will give it to you though. The sound of those engines made it move a little. I'm not gonna lie. Like, that's. Those things sound baller. Like, holy shit, the visceral feeling you get of like. Like, damn, my nipples are hard. I get it. I drive them slowly, but I I don't know if I could sit there and watch a whole race. Maybe I could if I understood it more. And here's the thing about the race is that you're shouldn't the stands be on the outside so you could see the whole race? So you're literally in a position where all you ever see is like a car go by once in a while. And you don't even get to see anything else. That doesn't seem normal to me. Do the stands turn with the cars or something? What? I, I don't get the, how the stands are set up. That doesn't seem like it makes sense to me. Because they're going that way. The hell? What? Yeah, like those people over there in the stands, they get to see the whole race. No, they don't because there's damn seats in front of them. What the heck? It's weird, man. Oh, she's got volume turned down. Or she's got a thumb over the microphone or something. Okay, well, this is really boring already. And I don't get it that you only get to see the people in front of you for like two, not even two seconds. Maybe one second, depending on how fast they're going. Let's watch. Invigorating. Especially for little kids who don't give a shit. This is so boring for them. Like, this is, this is not a good experience for them. Here we go, here we go. Let's see. Is this like a lower edge race? Like, it's not like where the stars go. It's like where you have to, like, compete to get to the bigger races. So it's all, like, the ones that aren't good. Yeah, I bet they buy tickets, but then they stand in the game. Yeah. 
Okay, here's you're about to see now what how much of the race you get to see because I want to see how long it takes me to get back around. Okay, now that feel I'm again. Boner. Not bad. She's got the volume turned down. Okay. Now we wait five minutes to see that again. Oh my God, you're serious. Why do they have the seats like this? Like if you're the top lip, you can be like, oh, okay. You can be like, oh, there it is. No, thanks. You paid thousands of dollars to sit here to get free hot dogs. Okay. I don't understand it. I understand this is where they're going to win, and that's like the thing. And I understand being there, but I don't see the draw of sitting there when that's all you ever see. You can't even see how the race is shaping up until they get there. Like, okay, let's see who's number one now. Here's the, here's the whole thing. Zoom. Wow. <laughs> it's like, this sucks ass. None of these kids are having fun, by the way. If it's that loud, thank God everybody's wearing it. But if you go to NASCAR and you don't wear hearing protection, you probably should, even as an adult. That seems crazy. If all the professionals are wearing hearing protection, probably everybody should. Maybe a ticket should come with hearing protection. All right, except for an hour, which honestly is longer than I thought they would sit. We're walking around now. So you went to the races. The kids sat for an hour. The race goes on for four hours or something like that. And now you're leaving. Or you're walking around because they don't want to be there. Why did you take them then? Why don't you take them to something more kid friendly? Or why don't you do this? Kids, we're going to take the youngers over here and the olders are going to go to NASCAR. But the younger, we're going to go to Fun Spot or freaking Six Flags or something. I don't know. D you don't have to take all your kids to the same damn thing. And that's the problem. She does that because she wants to film it neatly in a little. We're 14, right? That's the problem. Half the kids don't want to go there. Why don't you do something your kids want to do, Alicia? And she, she calls it like, funny family fun day. None of them are having fun, man. They hate it. You chose some shit that they didn't want to do. There's like a main one right there. That's like, a like nobody. They're, they're leaving. She's not, they're not sticking around. They're leaving. So they came, spent $450 on hot dogs and french fries, walked two miles to go see the pit, st sat down for probably like five. Let's be real. She didn't sit there for an hour. That's a lie. Had hot dogs and all the shit that she paid for. Now she's leaving. She didn't even space stay for the whole event. What is the point? Yeah. What a waste of money. There's so many people that would have loved to do that or you could you know, help somebody. Why don't you take your family and go help people? Yeah, yeah. These people hate it. Yeah. You're trying to well, there's on me. And, the, and here's the thing. They all have to wear brand new shoes. And everybody knows if you wear brand new shoes, it's like you got to work them shits in first. So these kids are walking miles and miles in brand new shoes. A lot of their ankles are probably hurting. Nobody wants to win. Like, it's just, it's just no thought ever put into this, ever. Their ankles are rubbed raw. With like, yeah, it's, it's over there. We walk past it. And so some of them aren't even wearing the shoes she bought them. So she's wasted. This guy's wearing Crocs. So these are all, I really wish we had brought a stroller or a wagon. And your kid's like, I really wish mom would have left me at home because this sucks ass. Kids hate it. Look at her. There's the merp face where she knows what she's doing wrong. She knows that everybody's having a bad time, but she's like, but I got it on camera. So, you know, it is what it is, everybody. That's the is what it is face. The like, I'm a shitty person for forcing my kids to do shit they don't want to do. But maybe they'll actually sleep good tonight. Let's go buy a bunch of merch or shit they don't know. Merch. Holy shit, she's gonna spend thousands of dollars and the race is still just starting. Hey. Holy shit, this is a big deal. These people hooters. <laughs> like, they, man, there's big money in NASCAR. Holy moly. Why are you buying your kids shit they're never gonna wear? It's gonna end up in the garbage. You're just wasting money. You get the orange one, though. Jordan is getting this McDonald's hat. 
Okay. You're going to pay $40 for a hat with McDonald's on it. Okay. That's weird. He doesn't want to try it on. You're just making him get it and he's going to throw it in the garbage. Try it on, try it on, try it on. Try it on, doesn't show it. Everybody get something that we're going to throw in the garbage. They don't even care. Oh, now she's t- teacher and kids say thanks. Mm hmm. Stop. This is silly. Here, get this McDonald's hat. She's really trying to get McDonald's sponsorship. Why is she not showing the receipts on these ones? Okay, they all have their souvenir and they gave us some autographed cards. Cool, no one knows who Nemechek is. Yeah. John Hunter Nemechek, thanks. Not worth anything. I know. This is going right in the garbage when we get home. They look so cute in their hats. Do they? Back down the ramp. They're like, let's go, man. This sucks. She spent easily $1,000 there. Easily. Be careful. These hats are $50 a piece. He's like the walking faster one. That's nice. Yeah. yeah. Because you're totally like, you're like, you're me. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> we just got home. We are a sticky, sweaty, dirty mess. So we're- it's not even like the race isn't even over yet in their home. We're going to run through showers and get some leftovers heated up for dinner. Looks like he got punched in the face by a Care Bear. But thank you for spending the day with us at the NASCAR race. You are strong. You are beautiful. Your ankles are sore, you have sunburn, you guys ate nothing but junk food, I spent $5,000, and here we are, and the race still isn't even over. We don't know who won, we're not even going to check. And you're amazing. You are loved, you belong, and I am so proud of you. See you next time! Shut the hell up. Holy shit, that was bad. Good gracious, this woman. It never fails to amaze me how out of touch she is with everything, especially her children. We, we kick it off with like, hey, everybody, shut your mouth when mom's doing an intro in the van to let's walk 5,000 miles in your brand new shoes so your ankles are rubbed raw to let's buy $550 worth of french fries. Then we're going to walk two and a half more miles to the pit. Then we're going to walk 10 and a half miles back to where we're sitting, get more hot dogs and french fries and warm lunch meat that's been eaten by the flies. Then we're going to sit here for 15 minutes and then we're going to go buy $2,000 worth of shitty merch that we're going to throw right in the garbage when we get home. Then we're just going to get home. And that's it, everybody. Thanks for coming with us. What a tone deaf moron. Go do something your kids want to do. Show your kids having some joy. Then if you're going to force them to do something, go do something they want to do. Oh, I hate this woman. She's so bad at everything. And again, not able to do anything as a family unless she's filming every freaking millisecond of it. Loser. What a loser. Alicia, you smell. Okay? Everybody take a deep breath. Not of Alicia's smell, just of the air around you. Thanks for being here, everybody. Thanks for being amazing. Thanks for watching this garbage heap pile of a woman with me because she's just a failure. But you're not a failure. You're amazing. And you're here because we like to hang out and have some fun and it's Friday and I hope you have an amazing weekend and all things go well. I know school's starting soon. Some schools already started for some people. I hope everything up your summer was awesome. You know what? Take your kids out and have some fun with something that they'd like to do with a memory. They'd, the only memory these kids are going to have of this is like how sore they were from it. That's it. They're going to hate this. But go do something awesome because you guys are out there being great parents. And I will see you when I see you. <laughs>